touched my heart when she used the word kinlock. I grew up on a cotton sharecropper's uh, plantation called Kinlock in Mississippi, so it's, this is going to be a little hard. We know that much trauma, anger, misguided fears, and misinformation still reside and thrive in so many places in our hearts and minds, at home, in America, and abroad. Emerson said once, only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. Today's star, Olanda Smith, has exposed what dark felt like in the lives of some of the people in Ferguson, Missouri, since the Ma Michael Brown shooting. Using her artistic, astronomical spotlight, she has uncovered a series of truths from the viewpoint of eight characters and suggests some challenges for us to consider in dealing with our own community's trials. We need to get a grip on our fears, address the trauma-induced flaws in our own lives, acknowledge and work harder and smarter to shed our biases, and stay on the practice field, continually exercising and improving our own empathy, our sympathy, and our ability to forgive. If only we were in the Black Panther's Wakanda. How many people have seen the Black Panther? Where everyone was drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Where even the guys and gals that were bad were lovable. In Wakanda, we would have keen insight into our own strengths and weaknesses. We would have rap sessions about our struggle to find commonalities and to do the right thing. Regardless of our billion dollar love for this imaginary city, country, we have to admit that even with beauty, brains, and bucks, there still remain a cataclysmic human struggle over the question of whether, with whom, and how to share their power and their glory, even in the mythical Wakanda. Today, the frequently used phrase, art intimidates life, has been turned on its head. As she moved across the stage, I was reminded by this artist of some of the situations that have played out in my courtroom over the last 25 years. I've seen the rawest of human pain and hopes and dreams collectively placed in my hands to sort through and to try my best to render an impartial and just outcome. As I watch this genius of an artist on the stage tonight, today, I accepted her moves from one character to another just from her gestures. She could swap out her clothing, change her voice. Boy, I could use that at work. <laughs> use the choice of words and the various dialects, and her entire fullness of her presentation came alive. All of it was just mesmerizing. On my own journey, from scrapping cotton in Mississippi to an elevated seat in the courtroom in Milwaukee, I've had encounters with some, if not all, of the composite characters brought to life by Olanda Smith on the stage today. She illuminated the ties that bind them together. If only we could use some magic like she used today, a wardrobe, a shawl, a jacket, to give others a chance to express themselves. We might be able to grow more empathy, compassion, show greater humanity, respect, and tolerance on racial, ethnic, gender, and sexual orientation. In his 1970 hit song, who knows Joe Souter or Joe South? Nobody can sing this then. <laughs> it's called Walk a Mile in My Shoes. <laughs> he wrote of racial intolerance and the need for perspective and compassion. Quote, if I could be you, he wrote, if you could be me for just one hour, if we could find a way to get inside each other's mind, if you could see you through my eyes instead of your ego, walk a mile in my shoes. Yeah, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse, walk a mile in my shoes. The artist tonight has encouraged us to do just that. Take a look in the mirror, practice some self-introspection, and speak about who we are. As the chief judge for all of the courts in Milwaukee County, I can report that the courts, with the help of thousands of others, have embraced new tools to ensure better outcomes for our citizens. We utilize a formal collaboration of top leaders to meet, discuss, get feedback, propose, and implement solutions to some of the most pressing problems in our community. We've developed a process to better support those afflicted with mental health problems, alcohol, cocaine, opioid addictions, 
and also to help our veterans, those who served our country and who are now fighting addictions, PTSD, and other problems. We are especially proud of the special emphasis we place on our babies, our infants, those from birth to three years of age, those who suffer from neglect and abuse and are in need of care. We've implemented formal training for ourselves and other measures to better understand the effect of the trauma that she talked about today, the effect that trauma has on the ones serving and the ones being served. And we've come before uh, instructors and trainers and taught ourselves how to better accommodate people with these serious problems. But even with all of our many initiatives, we are indebted to those like this artist today, whose work both emboldens our efforts and challenges us to be and do better. And so our journey continues. And in the final words of Joe Smith, who wrote, if I only had the wings of a little angel, don't you know I'll fly to the top of a mountain? And then I'll cry, cry, cry. Walk a mile in my shoes, walk a mile in my shoes. Yeah, before you abuse, criticize and accuse, walk a mile in my shoes. Thank you. Thank you.